Good afternoon and uh, good morning, depending on where you are. I'd like to, first of all, say hello to Council General of France in Hong Kong, Macau, Alexandra, our good friend, and uh, Diane Sophie, and uh, all the colleagues from HKSC and uh, many other parts of the world. I'm Wei Xi, I'm president of Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And uh, it is our pleasure to organize this uh, another partnerships closely with uh, French Council General's office here to recognize and to promote and to exchange ideas in terms of the sustainability. I remember last December, we co-organized an event in our campus also to recognize the fifth anniversary of the Paris Agreement, which was a very important and very widely participated. Today, I think this is really an encore in a way to have more exchange and ideas and the sharing with even more colleagues and participants. I understand that there are more than 300 participants registered from 30 plus universities and 40 plus companies worldwide, literally. So it is going to be a very exciting and a very interesting opportunity for us all to learn from each other. And also there are three sessions, one on how do we make a case to see the sustainability can really add value, not only long-term, but in terms of the immediate future of our societal, and the business development, this of course is very important to anchor many discussions. Then if we agree on that, then how can we be real in terms of making progress regarding decarbonization? There are a lot of science and technology issues which we must address in clear and practical ways. Then finally, even if we have the technology, how can we finance? and make it happen in reality. So these are my understanding by reading the program. So it's very broad, comprehensive, and very thoughtfully put together. And between France and the HKUST, we have this uh, joint hub to promote innovation, which was signed back in 2018. It has been a very productive partnership and we appreciate in particular, French Council General's support and uh, very enthusiastic contribution on many ways, okay? There's also right now a French center studying contemporary China, which is located on our campus as well. So with this, uh, let me just welcome everybody again. And uh, I look forward to learning from all of you. And uh, even more importantly, I hope we will have an opportunity to see each other in person before too long. And uh, sustainability is one of the widely agreeable major topic no matter what other issues are between countries, regions, and people, this is the one thing we all share. We must address this together. So in that sense, this is even a more meaningful topic for the current era. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you, Professor Shi, for uh, welcoming uh, this, this initiative. I, I, I have to say an hello to and bonjour uh, to all, especially to uh, our French friends who woke up very early this morning to, to, to be there. Merci beaucoup. Uh, I have to say that the, the cooperation and the partnerships between uh, France and Hong Kong in the educational field is really exceptional. And uh, with uh, HKUST, I have no words to, 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 to qualify that. So why uh, sustainability and why France and HKUST? Uh, sustainability, it's clear now, I think, for all of us that um, it will be the strongest game changer uh, to rebuild a, a post-COVID world and a post-COVID economy. Uh, so I think this is completely shared in the world uh, now. Uh, why France and HKUST? On the one hand, France is, uh, has taken a leading role in fighting climate change since the Paris uh, Agreement. We, are, uh, we have been investing more than 300 uh, billion HKD uh, towards carbon neutrality within the two next years. And, and we are very proud of that with 
together with China, we are uh, number one uh, among the countries uh, issuing uh, green bonds. Uh, so this is uh, this is uh, really uh, something important for, for France. On the other hand, I cannot speak about HKUST, but I will do it. Sorry, uh, Professor Xi. But um, HKUST has stepped up uh, its policy to support sustainable development in Hong Kong, especially through the establishment of the uh, Institute for the Environment. And for those who never visited this campus, especially for uh, our friends and our listeners abroad, please pay a visit to it because it's an amazing uh, sustainable uh, campus uh, with uh, uh, really uh, green buildings and it's really very, very impressive. So sustainability. What does it mean? What does it mean really? Uh, I think that today sustainability means a lot of things beyond climate and beyond even beyond green. And uh, beyond that, there is one essential field, which is education. Uh, it includes education. Um, today's pandemics uh, reminds us how vulnerable uh, the educational systems are uh, throughout the world. And uh, I think who we can uh, legitim uh, wonder who will innovate tomorrow if today's generation is not groomed up properly. So uh, that's why uh, in pandemic times, France, for instance, is really um, co continuing to welcome international students and researchers. Uh, supporting uh, um, international uh, mobility for students and researchers is absolutely uh, essential uh, because we think that uh, international exposure to uh, other solutions is uh, a key uh, uh, for uh, finding the new, the new solutions. We have made here in Hong Kong an uh, unprecedented move by increasing by, increasing by 50% uh, our scholarships policy uh, for the benefit of Hong Kong uh, students. Uh, it includes uh, scholarships for a master's degree, but also for uh, PhD uh, students with a focus on uh, one health uh, approach, which is something that we, we, we share with, uh, with Hong Kong. And uh, today, uh, France has turned, uh, I would say, 200% international. Uh, when it comes to higher uh, education. And it's not well known, but we have today more than uh, 1,600 programs taught in English. Mm -hmm. So don't believe that you, you, you need the French language to, to, to go uh, to study to France. And we are in the Shanghai, in the Shanghai uh, rankings, the third country. Uh, we are the, third, the first in uh, mathematics. But we are very, very good uh, rankings uh, uh, in the sustainability uh, fields. For instance, for uh, ecology, the University of Montpellier ranked uh, second uh, worldwide. Uh, for Oceano oceanography, uh, University uh, Paris Sorbonne ranked uh, third. So uh, today, I I'm very happy to have uh, some of the uh, most promising and best uh, institutions uh, which are active in the fields of uh, um, sustainability in France, such as uh, EDEC Business School, uh, EM uh, Normandie, uh, ESEC School of uh, Management, uh, Polytechnique, uh, Toulouse Business School and uh, Uni La Salle, and I really, I'm really grateful to all of them uh, to to be present in in, in this uh, webinar. Uh, last but but not least, for the the students uh, who, who, who listen to us, I would say uh, what you want at the end is, of course, to better the the world of tomorrow. But you want to have a good position. You want to have a good position. And uh, education in France and education in the field of sustainability means mean a lot of opportunities for you. Uh, opportunities in the field of employment. Uh, France is the European country with the best representation in the top 100 uh, most innovative uh, companies. And even in Hong Kong, uh, we have more than uh, 
800 French companies uh, being active uh, uh, there. So today, today, uh, you will have the rare chance and opportunity to hear from uh, forefront leaders in the field uh, from France and uh, Hong Kong. And uh, so uh, I will let the floor to the, to the, to the panelists and uh, thank you to uh, all of them. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.